Hey guys, I got a question the other day on YouTube on what's the best way to tape a bat. And there really isn't a best way to tape a bat. It's all uh, up to your preference, what you like, what feels good in your hands, what looks, what you think looks good. Uh, but I'm going to show you real quick the way I like to tape my bats and what feels good to me and what I think looks good. So if you can, uh, if you want to copy that or, or use a variation of that, please do and, and let me know what you think. But uh, let me set the camera up to get a better angle. Alright, so the first thing I like to do um, on a bat like this with a, uh, just a regular knob that doesn't have much of a flare to it, I like to make a little flare with my tape. So I'll take uh, just uh, one, one round of tape just to start it and then I'll, uh, and then I'll begin to tape it um, the way I like to. So I'll just come up here on the handle, or the knob, excuse me, come around once. One, one tip I can tell you right now is uh, when you're ripping this athletic tape, you want to pull it apart from each other and then rip down because this athletic tape can be uh, really hard to tear sometimes. So we just got a, I'm just going to start our flare right there. Nothing too, nothing too crazy yet. And what, what else I do is when, uh, when I rip this tape, I like to rip a little piece from the side of it and you can leave the big part down. So now you've got, now you can just take a little piece of the tape instead of the whole thickness of the tape like that and it'll just keep coming like that and that's what I tape the rest of the bat with. So I'll start right here, just get a nice angle on the bat, whatever angle I decide I want and just start wrapping around the bat. I like to go down to about where my top, a little bit past where my top hand would be uh, where I'm hitting because if I'm hitting with two strikes or um, uh, you know I need to choke up or something like that then I've got a little more tape up there um, and also I think it looks a little better when it's just a little bit higher um, so I'll just come around keep coming around try to keep the same angle uh, this is a little messy but this is just for trying to keep it short for the sake of the video so if you got time you know take your time on it but um, I like to end in the back of the bat just because I think it, I think it looks better. Um, that's all preference. That's up to you. So now we got that down there, just like a candy cane, right? And now we're going to go the opposite way uh, on the handle. And we're going to try to keep the same angle, going the opposite way, and try to make the try to make the tape cross at the same spot on each on each uh, crossing so, so we got a cross here and a cross right here and we're gonna try to make that the same all the way down the bat so that it's even and it doesn't look funky this one's a little I've already messed it up a little bit but like I said I'm trying to go fast for the sake of the video if you got time before your game or at night, you know, just take your time and play around and see what tape jobs you like the best. Like I said, the the there is no best way to tape a bat. It's all going to depend on what feels good to you and what you like, what you think looks good, what feels good in your fingers. Then we'll stop here. See how hard this tape is to rip. I also like to put one piece of tape around the top, around the uh, end where I stopped, just to make it look clean. Okay. So now we've got our basic tape. I like the way that uh, the crisscross is because it uh, it sits well on your fingers. Now you can go back and do it a second layer. Uh, you know, do the same exact thing on the um, right where we right where we did it. You could just follow the same path uh, to get a, a more raised surface. If you like to have a, some, you know, 
a little bit bigger grip in there. But now we're going to go back and finish up the, the knob and get that flare, um, get that flare out. And what we're going to do is just go a little bit lower. <clears throat> on the bat go around a couple times each time going a little bit lower until we're on the bottom of the until we're on the bottom of the knob now this part is going to look messy when you're doing it quick here but if you take your time you can get a nice little flare on there and it'll feel real nice on the on the hands so as you can see right there I've got a got a little flare to the to the knob now so it's not just a uh, a little mushroom knob or butt up to the knob um, and uh, you know your handle your the bottom of your hand will fit nicely right there you won't lose the bat as much and these uh, this grip here fit nice in your fingers like I said it's a little bit higher I probably if I had more time I would have made it probably a little bit higher just like I said for the reason if you're choking up a little bit you got more you got more grip on there but there you go a quick quick tape job that's the way I like to like to tape it up again if you got more time you can make the spacing a lot a lot uh, more even and make it look better and uh, I definitely would try going over going over these again with another uh, small piece of tape and just to get that raised surface I think you guys will like that uh, a little bit and uh, yeah and then get you some pine tar up here get it nice and sticky and you're ready to go thanks uh, thanks for the question thanks for watching the video and uh, if you got any comments questions leave them